back in the kitchen again, guys. We always give you your favorite dishes. We love you, and we we cook every day. Every day we cook many different kind of dishes. Um, basically, some many people ask me a lot of questions. All comes. I can give so many recipes, but guys, we cook every day. Every day we have to cook, every day we eat, and every day we give you a new video. We upload video, many videos we like. Um, there's no limit for this. So basically today, on the menu, we wanna give you a nice, lovely, all, this is the Jamaican way of making lasagna. Um, a lot of people don't know that, you know what I mean, Jamaican, not only jerk chicken, rice and peas, and, brown stew chicken and curry chicken we eat, we do eat lasagna. So this time, we want to show you how Jamaican make their beef lasagna. Hopefully you will love the recipe, subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Um, with all you guys, nothing can be done. It's all about you. So thank you for your support. Big up everyone out. We love you. Anyway, make sure you get a copy of my cooking book. It's on Amazon. The price won't change. It's your price. Um, basically, I have the beef coming out and I have pot roast beef coming up next. We got um, kalalo rice coming up next. We got Caesar rice coming up next. There's a lot. But in the meantime, we have a few recipes which we need to just get out of the way. These recipes, you might see a lot of recipes going up daily by the day, every minute by hour because of requests. People request many things from me and I need to give them it. So guys, Jamaican lasagna this evening for dinner. Enjoy the recipe. See you next time. Bye. Nice and lovely guys, as you can see right here, I have white onion, spring onion, some chopped tomato, and some fresh garlic. So basically, all of this recipe right here is natural ingredients. That's what Jamaican love to use. We love to use our natural ingredients. And then the beauty is I have a white bowl right here, which we're gonna lay our lasagna right inside of this the only thing guys to be honest with you i did not make my white sauce and i and I'm, I'm, i can make my own white sauce but you know what i mean um i just want the video to be more easier not too complicated the white sauce they you can get that at any local shop supermarket there you know what i mean you can get a bottle of a white sauce to use so that's what i'm gonna use but everything else um the chopped tomato sauce is the one i brought that one at the shop you can get that at the shop First of all, we're gonna brown off the meat. That's the first thing we need to do, is to brown off the meat. So right here, this is my white board, this is my veg right here, and I have my meat, beef, bolognese, which I'm also gonna cook off. Um, this is the beef bolognese, guys, right here, the beef mince, right here, is um, roughly, not too expensive price, 50 plus, 50% and tell us that it's just roughly five less beef fat, 500 gram of good British beef mince. So this is the one we're gonna brown it off. Now guys, it's not expensive, very cheap, and um, it's the great all good British mince. That's the one we're gonna use today. So I know you're gonna love this, and this is the Jamaican way. Remember Jamaican will only eat Jerk chicken and rice and peas and uh, as I said before, you know what I mean? We do eat lasagna and spaghetti bolognese and all them thing there. So anyway, let's kick it on it with this recipe today for you guys. I know you're gonna love it. I know you guys are gonna love this one. Lovely and nice. So basically I have my normal stir fry pot where I normally use for my stuff. So what I'm gonna simply do, I'm gonna pop this in straight inside of it like this guys. Roughly a teaspoon of vegetable oil. That's the main thing you need to do. To get it running and make things roll it up. Then next we're gonna put in some garlic and all the season which we just cut up. Lovely and nice. And that's this is the white one right over here. Lovely, really nice. And I know you guys are gonna love this one because it's just so easy and simple guys so we have to make it very not too complicated that you guys can understand what's going on so as you can see brought out the, the mince that's one of the main thing but we are sauteing out some garlic and white onion spring onion and some tomato first getting the flavor inside of the, the pot and the meat guys one on a medium size eat and also lovely 
and nice. The next one we can do now, we can simply put in the old good British means right here. Nice one. Simple. That's what we're gonna do. Break it up into some pieces inside. But before we go any further, let's see what we're gonna do next. Now this is is a must. We have to do this little pinch of us pepper. That's some pepper, coarse pepper. And also a little pinch of all purpose seasoning. Let's add a teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. And also some paprika. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of paprika. Nice one. And then um, some beef seasoning now. If I choose beef, you can put a little bit of beef seasoning inside of it. It's just to bring in the flavor. Nice one. Give me that start. You can see how the meat start getting brought up already. Looking lovely. And nice. So you're gonna burn off your meat. That's one of the main things you need to do first. Get the meat burned off. What you can do is cover it for roughly one nice good five or six minutes. And in between, you can keep stirring it also. Nice and lovely. So if I remove the cover, take a check on it. Nice one. So you so you just brown it off the right and proper way. That's all we need it to get it brown off. Um, basically what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna pop a little bit of hot pepper sauce That's we Jamaican love our hot pepper sauce, not too much though Just a little pinch of hot pepper sauce to bring in the flavor Also, uh, you know what I mean, we, we Jamaican love our hot pepper sauce So we normally, you know what I mean, if you cook, we normally put a little pinch of it But this is the way our Jamaican make day lasagna um, I don't because I don't have any time, I don't put a piece of fresh thyme also inside of it. So, I'm burning off the meat. Let's cover it back for another five more minutes. Nice and lovely. So, look at that. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. So, you can see how the meat brown off. So nice and, you know what I mean? So lovely. And that's exactly what we're talking about right here. So basically, you know, choose Jamaican thing and Jamaican put their thing a little bit different. I'm gonna add roughly a cup of sweet corn inside of it. And like I said, why am I put sweet corn in a lasagna? But you know what I mean? Sometimes it's good to have veg with the meat to balance your diet, guys. But I keep saying that. So put some sweet corn inside of it. And that is roughly, I'm gonna tell you how much gram inside of this, guys. To be honest, honest, it's 100 grams. So roughly one cup of sweet corn inside of it. Really nice. You might have said, I want a chef you are going with. Tell you something, you see. <laughs> I keep saying, when you want your food to taste nice, add ingredients to it, and it will come out lovely. So, basically, you can get lasagna, chopped tomato sauce, any local shop. I'm going to pour a bottle inside of it, which is a bottle is 500 grams. Any shop you go, you can just look for original lasagna or bolognese sauce whatever they want to call it give it a stir because i want to make sure i have enough in it because this lasagna i'm going to make right now it's a beautiful and nice seriously guys sometimes some people strain off the juice and the water but you know what i mean i don't i didn't do that you know what i mean i just constantly do like what i'm doing right here lovely then um next Add some ketchup. Lovely and nice. So as you can see, spring you want juice and thing, but that's fine. Lovely. Because I need it to be like this. But this is a lasagna way I'm making it. It's Jamaican way. It's not the British way. There's a chips and tips in it, so you know what I mean? We have to change up the thing, you know what I mean? And not because we're there London, we still love our Jamaican food and Jamaican only, only eat, as I said before, 
jerk chicken and rice and peas and hockey and sawfish because we do eat lasagna and all them things there. So, how Jamaican make the lasagna? Turn on your stove a little bit low, not too high, and leave it for another good 10 to 15 minutes. Make it go and simmer. Nice and lovely. So, wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Now this is finished. Alright? This is finished guys. Let's go to part two now. That is finished. Nice and lovely. First of all, put on the medium sized pot on the stove like this. And as I said before, you can get the white sauce at any local shop, supermarket to buy. Alright? I'm just gonna warm up the white sauce. Pour it straight inside of this container right here like this. Because I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to this one, to the white sauce. Alright? So, that's the white sauce. The only reason why I, I warm it up because it more freely to ugly. You don't need to warm it up. If not, I just warm it up because that's me, I like. So what I'm gonna simply do is to wash out the buckle with a little bit of milk and pour it straight inside of it like this because I need some more sauce. This one buckle, I don't think that'll be enough. All right, lovely. Then next, a simple pop a little bit of pepper and just a little pinch of pepper, not too much. And also, a little bit of cheese, not too much cheese neither. I want it to be spoiled, you know, and give it a start. Look at that, beautiful. All right, and this is exactly what we're talking about. This could take a little bit more milk, just a little bit more. Nice one. So that's the white sauce for your lasagna. Nice one. We are getting there. Next thing, give it a taste to see something. Now this is finished. Cause I just want it to be warm up and the cheese melt out and that's it. So this is finished now and I don't want it to be burned. So the sauce is finished, lovely and nice. That part two, nice and lovely. This is my bowl which I'm gonna put my lasagna in. Right here guys is a massive nice size bowl, medium size. Now first of all, get a little bit of sauce and pour it in the bottom of it like this. Not too much, just a little bit of sauce. Could I use a spoon if you don't have a spatula like this one and simple. Rub it inside of it like this. Nice one. Then next thing what you need to do is to get your lasagna sheet. This is a lasagna sheet and simple. Lay it in the bottom of it like this. In the bottom like this. Hopefully now not gonna be working. Tree not gonna be work. So what you need to do, I don't know if you could break it like this. Break it just like this and simple. Put it down in the middle right there. Next little piece over there, and the next little piece right here, guys. Cause lasagna is all about the sheet, the pastry. All right. Then simple. Get your lasagna meat. We should just cook, just like this, and just like this. Hopefully you understand what I'm doing right here, guys. Sorry if you're not seeing it the right and proper way. I'm really sorry not too much you don't want to too you know what I mean just a little bit at the bottom put another one some people do cook the, the, the paste before them put it in but depends on the type of oven where you have a use you know what I mean for me I don't think I need to do that because my oven is really good um, and so give it a wipe Nice one. And get some more lasagna sheet. The pastry right here and simple. I wanna try if we get 
I was gonna get three, but it won't work. So you still have to do is break it in. I was trying to see if it will work like this. Yeah, no, it won't work. So we have to just break it, guys, just like that. And just like that, just like that. This is all about lasagna sheet. When you make it lasagna, okay, you. sometimes you can get the one which already break. And why I'm just doing it the Jamaican way. That's so you guys can understand what's going on because a lot of people believe that Jamaican don't eat these kind of things, and uh, some people do have it wrong. You understand? So my idea is me to fill the gap for me to say, listen, we Jamaican people we do eat lasagna also. You understand, but we make it a different kind of way, not you know, I mean, the English way. Lovely. So, right here, we're gonna put another sheep on top of it, like this. Sometimes, some people do put sauce, so let's put it this way. This way. Still won't work. So, end up up to put. Nice one. That way. And that way. Lovely. Sometimes some people put a little bit of sauce on top of it like this before them put on the top sauce and then simple. Get it right, get it right, get it right, Chef Ricardo. Then put on the rest of the meat. This is the rest of the meat which we're gonna put on just right on this guys. So the reason why I put the sweet corn is to even make it even like a stretch because I wasn't gonna make too much lasagna guys. I just wanna make enough. You understand? So look at that. Look at that now guys. Um basically I hope you guys see exactly what's going on right here because I'm not moving the camera. The camera gonna be right here. This is Jamaican lasagna. We want to not forget the full hundred of the Jamaican lasagna. You understand? Jamaican lasagna, yeah, is the best. If you never do it at home, do the Jamaican one, all right? Nice one. Yeah, another sheet right here. Put probably three more. Yeah, the three, why not? It's all about the pastry. It's all about the pastry with lasagna, nothing else. Lovely and nice. Then get the sauce and pour it right on top of it like this, guys. Make the sauce, make sure the sauce cover exactly every crease and corner. That's why I warm up my sauce and I add milk to it because when I'm doing my lasagna, this is the way I normally do it. You understand? I put a lot of sauce on top of it. Right. Yeah? Nice one. Then some cheese. I'm using some strong strata cheese, guys. Strong, strong strata cheese. Nice and beautiful. Um, if if you like the recipe of the Jamaican lasagna, please leave your comments and. Please, please share it to others. That may, you know what I mean? I want other S people to know that Jamaican only don't only eat jerk chicken. Uh, as I said before, don't I don't want to go back over the same thing. So please share the video. Jamaican lasagna today from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy the recipe. So now we're gonna put it straight inside of the oven as you can see all oh, this looking so yummy, lovely, and nice. Basically, preheat the oven first. Gas mark 7 or 8 is good. If you're using a different kind of oven, 175 is good for 30 minutes. Um, basically, the only thing with me you now, I'm going to put my own because I'm using gas mark and gas mark 6 or 5 on a low temperature because I want the sheet to cook good. So there's no rush, there's no fuss, there's no fight. So you can put it inside. Um, you can go and help the kids them do their homework or 
put on a wash or something in the meantime make her some extra drink or some salad to go with your lasagna enjoy the recipe as we put this in the oven for half an hour gas mark six or seven is good or five and a medium size eat put it in the middle of your oven not too high temperature low temperature guys is better for the lasagna enjoy the recipe guys look at the lasagna oh my days i tell you something this is the proper jamaican way and well <laughs> i'm gonna cut it i have to cut it and make you guys see exactly what's going on here right here this is beautiful really nice hopefully you guys like the recipe subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments leave your comments share it and tell them about jamaican lasagna the best of the best from chef ricardo Really, really nice, guys. So first of all, let's see something. Cause you know, what I mean, this is beautiful. And a lot of people say, "Oh." Jamaican them only eat them whole heap of jerk chicken and too much jerk chicken, too much this. Oh well. <laughs> See we are going with a lasagna on the menu now. Go down inside of it because I'm using my Oh man, look at this. Oh my god. Look at that! Look, guys, look, look, just simple. Look at the beautiful lasagna recipe. Really nice. Just take a look at right here guys, right here sir, is really, really nice. As you can see, or even the way I cut it, is just beautiful, really nice. So, Jamaica can only, only just have jerk chicken, beef and you know what I mean, them rice and peas, we do have lasagna, but this is a Jamaican style. So hopefully this will be a benefit to someone, help someone and as you can see, you may look hard, you can put some salad on it and serve it at this is guys. It's just beautiful. So enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, and please leave your comments. We've got a lot more recipe coming up, guys. You know what I mean? It's just uh, amazing at the moment for know that we can do certain things and it come out perfect. So nice, lovely 30 to 35 minutes inside of the oven. You did such a perfect cooking. So I know you guys can do this at home and you, you will love it. So See you next time and enjoy the recipe. Bye-bye.